In this video, I'm going to show you why pro Madden players use really basic schemes and basic concepts, but master those concepts to make them one of the best at it in the world. And we're going to take a look at Trips Tied In to kind of teach this from. Um, if you guys want to get my entire Trips Tied In offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link is in the description. $10 is going to get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, including the Trips Tied In formation. Now, we're in the New England Patriots playbook today, and I'm actually using Mark Brunel at quarterback, so I'm going to flip my trips. I think that's really smart because of the fact that if you have a left-handed quarterback and you're running a scheme that has a lot of play action in it, then you need to be flipping it to the side, the, the, the same side that uh, your quarterback's throwing hand is. So I want my running back to be on the left side of the formation because I have a left-sided quarterback, okay? Um, so a couple things real quick right off the bat is I'm going to show you the aud some audibles out of this trip side in, and we're going to give you kind of a very basic overview of like a pro player and kind of five-step five, uh, five step system uh, to making a really, really good offense. So uh, we're going to put Patsway in as an audible, and then everything else is going to be fine. Real quick, as far as routes and abilities, you want short and elite on your tight end. You want probably either route tech or short and elite on this inside trips receiver. These other two receivers, I actually think short out elite and route tech are the best abilities for them. Um, this guy right here could probably just get away with route tech, but short out elite is helpful uh, because with the way trips tight end works, sometimes he'll be inside the numbers and sometimes he won't. Okay, um, Our base play for the scheme is going to be PA counter go. And because um, again, we're going to center this around largely play action. And I do have a hot route master quarterback. Really, all you need is outside apprentice, uh, your outside trips receiver, and tight end apprentice at your tight end position. If you don't have tight end apprentice, there are ways to still create the routes that we need. And if you don't have outside apprentice, with, aside from the C route, there are really good, still good routes in the formation. Okay, so let's get on the field and talk through um, again, just kind of like. What are the five things, what are the five keys to a scheme and uh, or five route concepts that pro most commonly used? These are most commonly used in pro Madden circles, okay? This has been true um, since Madden 16, probably even before, but that's how far back we can go to see, you know, what are pros doing. The first concept that is really, really important is some type of what I call a shallow cross concept, what a lot of people call slant post concept, okay? Some kind of slant post concept. This can be in a couple of different ways from trip side in, really the most, the one that you see the most is posting, put the tight end on a post, put CD Lamb on a slant, then put your outside, or your slot there, Tyreek Hill, put him on a flat route, and then you run it like this. And the main read here is we're gonna look at that post. If we see space over there, we're gonna throw the slant just like that. If we don't see space over there to throw the slant, then our progression becomes how can we throw the post? So I'll give you an example. So if they're in a defense that looks somewhat like this, then sometimes maybe the user even jumps the slant. But as we're looking here, no space. Okay, now we're gonna to look to the right and we see a ton of space to throw this post. That's in essence how the slant post concept works. And really the other thing that these route combos really do that really I think are interesting is they try to essentially say, how can we attack the user in the middle of the field or how can we attack you know the user on the sideline? So in this example right here, the user has to choose. If he goes and guards CD Lamb, then this post should be pretty good against man coverage as you can see right there. Okay, so a lot of value in the slant post concept. The other two routes are honestly kind of irrelevant. Uh, typically, what, what a lot of people like to do, and this is primarily for people who are running any kind of cover three, cover four, is that you could potentially see something like this where we have, you know, a running back flat route and then we have a motioned over streak. What this does is it creates kind of a layer layered concept here on the left side that's really good for if your opponent's ever dropping any zone drops because you see that that slant route's going to really put that curl flat defender over there on the left side into a bind okay and again you can you can also do it like this um, another way that's actually really popular this is a concept from years ago but it's doing something like this where we take Tyreek Hill we're going to put him on a flat we're going to slant uh, Michael Irvin and we're going to streak our tight end so what are we getting here? We're getting slant post. It's just coming from a little bit of a different angle. And this is what pro players do a lot as well, which is they create concepts. And then based on the concept, they can cross apply it formation to formation. 
And the second concept is really something that's designed to take advantage of these cover four, any kind of base zone defense, and that is the three-level flood. And the three-level flood, or I call it the sail concept, is essentially a streak, a corner route, and a flat route of some type. So from trips tight end, what you can do is you can drag your tight end, you can take C.D. Lamb and have him on this corner route from P.A. slot corner, and then we can motion Tyreek Hill over on a slant route, and we're going to snap that slant route just before he sets his feet. So you see something like this, and what you get is that drag is now going to act as the flat, and then that route to Tyreek Hill is really primarily designed to help whenever they start to double flat. So a double flat defense is where your opponent's trying to drop you know, two flat routes on – not two flat routes, I apologize. Um, well, I guess technically two flat routes. They're trying to basically cover the sideline with three people. So this is like a double Mabel coverage. And then they're going to put their user in the middle of the field. And as you can see here, Tyree Kill kind of just comes over the middle as a nice little check down for this play. So the next concept that people want to do now is, is basically what this what the second what the first two plays get people to do is this. It gets people to put two flat zones on the field. They can be at 30 yards, they can be we've seen this defense actually for a long time in Madden. Um, it used to be, you know, cover two with a hard flat and cover two with a cloud flat, and then this guy's going over the top, right? So three people here, same thing over here, three people on the outside. Well, if you look at that just based on that little picture right there. Where's the open space? The open space is in the middle of the field. And so this is where we call uh, different types of triangle concepts. This has been effective for years. So what we're going to do now is we're going to hitch Tyreek Hill. We're going to uh, zig Michael Irvin. We're going to slant CeeDee Lamb. And we're going to out route Owen Daniels. So you see here, this uh, out route is going to serve as kind of a flat route that's going to pull zones over there. So they basically have to use their CeeDee Lamb. And then what's going to happen is this route right here is going to be your primary read, as you can see. This makes it almost impossible for them to play any kind of double flat defense. So now, and if they are playing double flat defense and they have a yellow zone underneath, then that means that there's going to be nobody over the senior area. And so this is a, the, leads me to the fourth thing that people like to do, which is they like to attack the seams. And you can attack the seams in a variety of different ways. But in this example, we're just going to go to the play verticals, and we're going to attack the seams with the seam streak to the triangle receiver. As you can see here, if they play cover two, I've got a good shot at hitting him over the top for a one-play touchdown. I'll give you one other example of a seam concept. This is something that people really like, especially coming off of – uh, Madden 20, uh, Madden 20, um, two, and that is this simple, we're going to streak, uh, CD lamb. We're going to, uh, have Michael Irvin on his route. We're going to flat, uh, Tyree kill. And then we're going to wheel the running back and we're going to motion this guy across. Now you could either streak CD lamb or you could put the tight end on a crosser and then you could put a hitch right there. This is still getting at the same basic concept, but what you'll see here is now my I'm attacking that left side kind of seam area of the field. The seam area is from the numbers to the hash marks. So in essence, so far, we have plays that attack the numbers to the hash marks. We have plays that attack the sideline, the numbers to the sideline. We also have plays that just attack main coverage. And then we have plays that attack the blitz. That's the essence of every pro Madden offense. And the last piece of this is what I call the Y cross play. This is the streak the crosser and the backside dig. Now this can be ran a couple different ways. My actually favorite way to run it this year is to motion this guy across and then have Tyreek Hill on this route. Now this crosser doesn't just have to be a crosser. This crosser can also be a slant route, okay? But these, if you literally just learn these key concepts, as I freeform it to the other team, um, if you can literally learn these key, like kind of pinnacle uh, hallmark concepts of effective offense in Madden, I think you're going to get a lot better at the game, and you can cross-apply these concepts to any formation in the game. In fact, I wrote an entire ebook that I made free for everybody in the community. If you want to get that ebook, the link is down in the description. It goes more in depth on these five key concepts and how you can apply them to your offense.